Okay, here we go. I'm Janet. And I'm Jennifer. <laughs> and there's more wraps to, to try. So we're going to do more wraps today. Which one are we starting with, Jennifer? So let's start. We're going to do two wraps today. Let's start with the sweet carrot raisin wrap. Okay. And then we're also going to do a caramelized onion one. But let's start with that one. Um, so okay. I'm going to grab my stuff for it. And this right. should be really fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Now, I just want to ask you, did you go ahead and grind your chia seeds this time? Not yet. I was going to wait because she says freshly ground and I can be literate myself. Okay, that's fine. I just want to make sure that that is uh, on your radar. I will grind them right now. And I already did mine earlier. I try to do it and um, just let it sit. So. All right, grind nine. So, oh, she's grinding hers. Everything else I got all measured out. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I just got to remember to put them in. <laughs> I'll help you remember. I'll help okay. you remember. All right, so. I'm ready. Okay. So, um, you know, we're going to start by loading. It seems like all the wraps, you, you got to start by loading your, your Vitamix or whatever kind of high power blender you have, because the secret is to, to have some kind of a, um, you know, gel or kind of liquid thing. So we're going to put in onions, um, chopped carrots. Wait, ginger's next. No, chopped carrots was first. Yeah. Chopped carrots and then the onion. Yeah. Then a chunk of of ginger and a chunk of turmeric root. Do you have any? Because I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just stuck it in. Yeah. Okay. If people aren't What's next? interested, it's amazing. Um, then we need the garlic, three cloves or a bunch of garlic. Let's yeah. see. And so that takes care of this one for me. Oh, and then we need raisins. Half a cup of raisins. Let me grab that. Okay. And Two tablespoons of tahini. Aha, uh -huh. now that I didn't measure. So I'm going to measure that. And you're going to use the seeds and I'm going to use the actual tahini. Yes. So let me just, two tablespoons you said. Or, yes. yeah. Okay. One. All right. Then a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of curry powder. Oh, I'm not supposed to give measurements. Gar garam masala and cumin. And I've so got I don't. Here. I don't have the garam masala. Um, oh, you should. So I love garam masala. I was mm. gonna kind of make something up a little bit because it's it's usually like cumin and some other things like that, right? I will look at the bottle. Just sec. That's a good okay, idea. so while you're doing that, I am going to put in, um, uh, let's see. The other stuff. You want me to read it off for you? Um, yeah, but one second here. I want to get my curry in and my, I'm get, uh, let's see. I'm yeah, getting, teaspoon of, oh, I'm not supposed to give the measurements. I know, why am I, oh, here it is. Okay, so I'm going to put some onion powder in. Cumin, black pepper, cinnamon, clove, coriander, and cardamom. So I got my onion powder, and then I need my, my, uh, you said curry. Cumin, yeah, curry. Let me put the curry in. I do love curry. I do too. And then you said, I'm going to skip that for a second. Uh, Cumin. You Cumin. Mm -hmm. Let me get that. I always think of pre-measuring, and then I always think I'm gonna mess it up because I'm gonna forget what. <laughs> it doesn't take that long anymore. Anyway. Yeah, and then um, before I add the water, I'm just wondering what. Can you read it to me? Tell me what does it yeah. say? I'll read it again. It says okay. um, cumin, 
black pepper, cinnamon, cloves, coriander, and cardamom. Oh, cloves. I have clove and I have cinnamon. Okay. I put a little dash of that in here. And a little bit more Cuban, a little bit of black pepper. Okay. Got a little bit of coriander and, and cardamom. Those are awesome. Okay, so I've got the cinnamon, clove, um, I don't know about you, but I always get lost in my thing here. So I'll, while you're doing that, I'll talk about what my adventure. You know, I'm supposed to leave on my bicycle tour on Sunday. And the road between Marble Mount and Mazama on the North Cascades Highway is still closed. And the fire is spreading. And it's dumping trees and rocks on the road. And that's the 70-mile day with 7,000 feet of climbing. So we, we all were at the picnic yesterday and we thought, okay, what are we going to do? Well, we came up with an alternate plan. After much back and forth and up and down and all around, we're going to drive to Wenatchee where my brother lives and leave the cars there and ride our bikes up to just north of Chelan at Poteros, stay there at an Airbnb, and then ride to Mazama. And we'll get to Mazama at the same time we would have if we would have left Sunday and gone the, the regular route. So then we'll be back on the route. And from there, we'll just continue on to Spokane. And then to get back to our cars, Stephen and I are going to rent a U-Haul and drive back to Wenatchee with the bikes because Wenatchee is an unmanned train station. So we can't get the bikes off if we leave them on the train to come back. So we're going to, we're going to ship the bikes with Stephen and I for U-Haul, everybody else will get on the train. My sister-in-law is going to come down and pick them up and bring them up. And we'll drive up with the U-Haul and we'll unload all the bikes and get them on the cars. And then I'll drop the U-Haul off and Stephen will follow me with the van and pick me up. And away we go. We'll come home. Ta-da! I love so, all the adventures. I know. I it's just it's just been amazing. It's super so, cool. Yeah. Oh, so um, I just added a couple things of the list and then a little bit more of the cumin. I don't have black pepper. Well, I do, but I don't have access to it right this second. And I have this open one. So I'm going to I'm going to use this pink peppercorn. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I just put a little of that in. So it doesn't have to be exact, right? No, and then, no, no, no. Some you, water. Yep. Yeah. You've got water going in. Yeah. And what does it say? Do we blend it before we put the rest in there? It was just yeah. Remember the psyllium and the chia get chia gets uh, three three pulses after we blend it. Okay, so we're gonna blend first. Let's do it. Here we go. All right, we've got a blended up carrot mix here. You know, I have a question for you. Yeah. So I tried to measure the ground chia seed yeah. and weigh it. Yeah. Totally off. Yeah, that's why I said we better weigh because, yeah. So it, are you doing with the measurement or the weigh? Because the weight. You're the gonna, weight. So I'm yeah. going to, whoops, I'm going to follow suit. And I'm going to reweigh it right now because um, I didn't, you know, I yeah, have I mean, the weight is the most accurate. All measuring spoons are different. I know. <laughs> All right. Your so, measuring spoons, were, you know, they, were they over or under? Um, so it was too heavy. Oh, really? See, mine both were under. Isn't that weird? Yeah. But it's just the way my measuring spoons are made, I guess. 
I mean, that's, see, look at, is it so, the measurement is like this little pinch and I, I the way, the way is like this. Small wow. Amount. I mean, so that's why I'm confused. Look here, I'll, I'll show this. Yeah. If I do it with the spoons, it's like so much more. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I, I'll do it by the weight. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Um, let's see. You know, I have a side question about the mushrooms that we did. Oh, you, you did okay. your mushrooms, the, the mus mushrooms, pizza mushroom things. They, they were so good. They all it just disappeared. Except Steve and I had one each when I got home. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, they, they were really good. But what was interesting to me is that when you posted your picture, you posted on the tray directly. Yeah. You had put it on like one of those Silpat things. Yeah, I think I probably should have. Oh, really? Okay, because yeah. I was going to say yours may have cooked quick, more quickly. Oh. But mine, you know, I didn't want to do that because then I thought the marinade would drip all over the place. Yeah, it surprisingly didn't. Okay, I am going to weigh this one yet because. But yeah, I was a little bit concerned with that, but I was really, really careful that I didn't knock them over. But it would have been a lot easier on the, you know, if you've got time for them to sit in there longer, it would have been uh, less scary to have them on the soap pad. Yeah. I didn't but have a was... lot of time, so. Yeah, I just, I noticed that and I thought, wow, I wonder if that's why yours cooked a little bit quick, more quickly than mine. Yeah, they sure did. I'll bet you that's exactly what happened. All these different variations. I know. Things you wouldn't think about. Yeah. Okay, I cleaned mine all off and then realized I hadn't put in my psyllium and my chia seeds. So here I go. Okay. I am right behind her. I'm just going to. Put mine in now, and I will pulse it a couple of times and get caught up. All right. I'm just going to pulse my next. All right. All right. I'm supposed to ride tomorrow. We're, we're, we ride in Seattle tomorrow, and the temperatures are going to be up in the, in the high 80s, which is manageable. You know, it's a little bit more humid here, so 80s feels hotter than in Arizona, but definitely doable. Yeah. Especially if there's a breeze. I think I'll just take a picture of how this looks in here. Um, so this is what, what mine is looking like. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if I can put the... Yeah, what do you think? Pretty good. Pretty and pretty similar. Good, yeah. Maybe we're getting uh, catching on to this. <laughs> yeah. So. So I'm gonna start pouring. Okay. I'm gonna grab my mats and follow suit. I already have my dehydrator on because I have some fresh garlic chive in my garden. And so I was dehydrating half and I'm going to have fresh. You know, I just froze mine. Really? Yeah. Wow. So I just pull it out of the freezer. And uh, so far it's been quite nice. Do you... um? Do you just cut it and just directly from from there you? I did. Oh wow! I that's... just chopped it all up and stuck it in little baggies in the freezer. That way I can just grab a little bit out, just do a little bit, but it's fresher. Mm. So because I have it on and I had my trays in, one of yeah. my trays is kind of warm up still. <laughs> so I just I love this Excalibur, Jennifer. 
Isn't it fun? It really yeah. is fun. I'm just seeing how much this actually, it's hard to tell. It's about- Are you gonna rinse out your blender? Are you gonna let it be um, for blend? the next? Am I gonna do what with it? Well, you know, we're just doing another wrap, so maybe we should just leave it. Oh. And not rinse it out. Oh, um, I'll just probably rinse it just to get the different colors out. But yeah. I'm I not gonna, like fully clean it. It's fine. Yeah. I'm trying, you know, I keep thinking, oh, I should weigh it because the last couple times, one is so much larger than the other. I guess I'm not good at eyeing these. Yeah. Oh, this is this is like pumpkin pie. I know. That's really true. The consistency. Did you taste it? No, I haven't. Did you? Okay. No, but when you said that. <laughs> It looks like, yeah, and you know, it just seems to me, well, actually, I did another cup of cashews to make that coleslaw for the potluck yesterday, so I just, I'm getting nervous because I'm doing so many nuts. Oh, you know, I'm doing a lot of nuts and avocado, and I find that I'm okay because we're not doing any grains, we're not yeah. doing any really potato I mean I know she says you can have some raw but I haven't been unless it's been in one of the recipes yeah I'm feeling and really satisfied I mean last night all I ate for dinner was watermelon I just you know I wasn't hungry after the potluck wow. although at the potluck I pretty much I just ate my own food and some fresh fruit <laughs> yeah but I took my the Tex-Mex salad I took the coleslaw that I made and I took uh, the mushrooms, mm. but you know, I let everybody eat everything. And I, I took a separate Tex-Mex salad with a little bit of the coleslaw in it for me to eat. And boy, that was really filling. See, when I, that's great that you do that. When, you know, I went to a, a potluck um, last weekend. Mm -hmm. I thought of you, you know, I, I thought, well, I wonder if I could bring, you know, other food, but I just, I'm not there yet. So I either eat a little before or I eat what I bring or I eat when I come home. And you know what? Nobody cares. Nobody even notices that I'm eating out. You know, well, actually we tell people when they come, bring your own dishes because, you know, COVID oh, yes. and all that. And so I just pull out my, my bowl and nobody ever says anything. You know, they do do that as well. Uh -huh. um, and some of these that I go to now are in like, uh, I know not everybody has natural grocer, but it's in like a grocery store. Uh huh. Whereas the, this one was in someone's home. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. It's, you know, I, when I first started eating this way, I had a really hard time with how I was going to handle it in public. Mm -hmm. now, that's not the case anymore, but at the time, and I kind of feel like it's sort of the same type of thing where, um, you know, I got to figure it out, mm -hmm. you know, if, if that makes any sense. I just think you're more agreeable than I am. I don't really care. You know, I, nobody, you know, I don't care what everybody else is eating. Why would they care what I'm eating? Well, they don't. You know what I think it is? I think it's not that I care that they're, you know, what they're thinking. I, I think that somehow in my mind, I, I don't want it to appear that I'm being rude. <laughs> and how is that being rude, taking care of yourself and eating healthy? Because I just, I still am. But, and, and they're fine. Like they, they put, they're really great. You know, everybody puts a recipe uh, card out and they'll say, oh, you know, I, I know you can't have that or, you know, whatever. But, um, and I, I, pretty much eat on track um, once in a while. If there's something that I'm curious about, I might just take a little tiny taste, um, but not a, like a full on portion. You know, people that are naturally don't even worry about this stuff. They just do what they want. They eat what they want. They don't. I know somehow I think it's part of my personality. I, yeah, it just, uh, it's imaginary, Jen. <laughs> It, it probably is. It's the same yeah. kind of thing with 
fear of the unknown, you know? Yeah. Fear when of I was, missing out. Or fear of missing out or, yeah. yeah any kind of fear. Made up nope. stuff that we can yeah. sometimes, well, I'm not going to say we, I. No, no, we. Sometimes get tri tripped up on, yeah. We well, were brought up in an atmosphere of fear. You know, be careful, be careful. And they're just trying to keep us from killing ourselves as two-year-olds, but we carry it over. You know, and that's super true. And I experienced that with, you know, my grandbabies. If you don't know and you're listening, I have four little grandbabies and the mm -hmm. oldest one is six, all the way down to the two little ones are two. They're five weeks apart. And that's, you know, when we get together, that's that's all I'm hearing coming out of their mothers, which is probably because I raised them, you know, about <laughs> careful. And, you know, I am too. I mean, gosh, goodness sake, I... I'm like on high alert, you know, when we're swimming or things like that. I mean, they'll just walk right off the dock. Don't pay attention. I know. I know. And, you know, it really molds us. It yeah. molds us. Yeah. And, you know, we do the best we can, but I don't know. I try to, you know, like if one of the kids gets afraid, there's a, you know, this is a bug. And, you know, so I'll, I'll try to just say, well, let you know, the bug is probably afraid of us. So let's look at the bug and let it, you know, find its family. And then they're like, yeah, the bug is fine. It really it matters how we handle their, what happens. Yes. And it goes into anything, including food. So, yeah. well, yours looks super pretty. I love the color too. Okay. I, I know it does. I'm going to take a picture. My lighting, I don't know if my lighting is any better this time. I tried a different, uh, not to have it so yellow, but. Oh, did you put a different bulb in or something? Well, I had the regular lights in the kitchen not on because it's daytime. And we have windows on one side, just not on the other side. And then I have I have one added light that's kind of going up. So uh -huh. I think that would be a little more true to color. But uh -huh. um it's just, yeah, it's just not the, the best setup for that. Let me see. So um, just checking this. So it looks like, yep, we added everything. We poured it. We we did everything. I think and we got so, her. Yeah, these are pretty much ready to go in for 12 hours. Are you going to put yours in the, the same? Well, actually, they might take longer because we've got four in now. Oh, so well, we are more. more. I think I'm going to stick these these two in now. Yeah, and, I think um, I would too. I think I, I am going to taste this out of this, this thing. I'm so curious. Tell me. Wow. Okay. They always surprise me. The smell, I can smell the cinnamon and like the, the stronger flavors, but uh -huh. I the sweetness. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, and the cumin. Oh my gosh. The carrot. And I mean, it's really delishy. 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 <laughs> Taking them over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, all so many delicious flavors. So I'm gonna step away and go bring these over to the dehydrator. All right, one more here. I'm going to get the last one. Here it goes. Yes, I'll set that by the time. All I'm right. Gonna, I'm just going to share. Um, so this is what my tray looks like. Oh, With, yeah. And I have so much more, but I just i am doing one tray. Um, so that'll be good. Yeah, I got another crop. Maybe I'll go ahead and dehydrate those. Yeah. I got it. Got a rinse going here. 
Rinse the top. Okay, so right. I'm gonna rinse oh. my rinse mine out, rinse my stuff out just so we can start a little fresh. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, and I'm not gonna wash it because it's just food. Yeah. But I'm gonna not only just food, but just vegetables and fruit food. Isn't that just incredibly amazing? I don't know it how really she is. this out, but she's a genius. Yes. And I'm so really glad is. that she went public with it and shared it with so many of us. No. Because, you know. Thank all the people requesting a, a wrap. I know. I know. You know um, I was in a chat and I was sharing about it uh -huh. uh, in somebody's chat. And they were saying, can you buy them? And I was thinking, oh, well, yeah. what if she got to a place where, you know, you can mask? I don't know how fresh yeah. they would be. You know, they have to then put preservatives in them. Yeah, forget it. I'm just going to make my own. Yeah, me too. All right. So I have, uh, you know, there are some other uh, pieces or parts to this, but yeah, we're gonna do the second wrap, and then if there's time, we can go back and put together some of the other pieces. There's dipping sauce, and um, you know, there's a a carrot slaw, but I'm gonna put that aside for now. Yeah. And now I'm gonna get out my other goodies. For these are caramelized onion wraps. I mean, my goodness, doesn't that sound delicious? It sounds wonderful. I know. We're so funny. We're like, how do we choose? They're all, they all look so great. And I've got to, I've got to peel my garlic. So I'm going to go ahead and stick my onion into the blender so I can have access to my cutting board. Okay. And I pre-did a lot of this. So I'm going to bring these over here. Yeah. I pre-did everything, but the, I haven't ground my flaxseed yet that's okay i don't measure my my uh spices ahead of time yes okay. and i i want to wait till so it's freshly ground yes and um i have the apple cider vinegar in the refrigerator and that's one of the things we need so i'm grabbing that is there apple cider vinegar in the fridge i do after i open it are you not supposed to i don't know i don't yeah i usually don't keep mine in but that's probably, I probably should. Yeah, I've always kept it in after I open it. I mean, it doesn't, well, I was getting, a, this one is a Kirkland brand, but I normally get um, the, uh, is it Bragg? One uh, of the main brands, but I tried, I thought I'd try Kirkland. I want, now I want to know what that other one says on it. I'm going to grind my flax. Okay, here she goes. Okay, so I'm going to go, we have onions, I've got some dates, I've got uh, some garlic, and then it wants onion powder, so I'm going to get that out and ready. Onion powder is going to be here. Um, mustard powder, I'm going to get those two. Another two cups of water, I'm going to go grab that from our Berkey. All right. And then we will be ready. Yeah, just grabbing some water from the Berkey. So this morning I got up, sat on my cushion, did my workout, had a walk, awesome. worked out the trip. Man, it's been a busy day. Oh, and I got to show you this, Jennifer, and everybody else. Look at this. <gasps> oh, wow. How cool Isn't is that? that? Cool. Is that a strip it's like a he put this strip up and he, he put all these little pegs in. So all this stuff, instead of me piling it along the counter, I can just, there it is. I can grab it. Isn't that great? I love it. And then now over here, over the sink, he made me this little thing for my, you know, to clean my, my bottles and stuff. Oh, little brushes. Isn't that cute? So I, I don't have to search for it. It's just right there by my sink. I just finished having that declutter, de-stress your mess class with yeah. Andrew um, Mellon. Mellon. And 
everything needs a place. And I see you have everything has a place over there. That's that's what we're that's what we're that's that's what we love. Cause then you always put it back there, like your keys. You know, we have a place. A key he he built made us a key a key. Same kind of thing where it's got hooks on it. We hook all our keys onto it. Oh, so nice. You just yeah, you just got it. It, it's it's a mindset like everything else everything's a mindset <laughs> yeah so you ready to load up for the caramelized onion wraps got my onion in okay you got your onion i've got mine right here i'm gonna put it in you want to say what goes next or shall i dates yes dates. put it dates it is dates i just put my onion and my dates are right here so they're going in. Whoops, get in there, little guy. Then vinegar. Okay, let's do the vinegar next. Do you shake your vinegar? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Because all the goodies are floating on the bottom. And then garlic. Ha, got my garlic. Bam, in there. And then onion powder. Oops. Okay. That's how humid it is here, Jennifer. I blended my, I, I just blend my onion flakes to make onion powder. But look at it, it's, it's, it's sticky because of the humidity here. Oh, boy, I'm almost out of this. Then we need mustard powder. Every chef seems to have their favorites that they like to put in everything. Yeah. Well, then it's more of like a signature kind of thing. Boy, this is really simple. Then it's the water, which is the water already. Yeah. And then we just put, put some water in. I know that's why I thought, come on, let's do it. Cause yeah, it didn't too seem simple. too complicated. And I think the onion is such a fantastic flavor. Yeah. All right, go for it. Okay, here we go. No, I forgot to rinse out my lid. So I'm a little behind, but it's okay. And here I go. All right. All right. Then I've got my psyllium husk. All right. I'm adding in my flax and my psyllium husk. Okay, I'm so curious to smell this. Okay. You know, for as much onion, in it, the um, the dates really cut the onion, um, you know, overwhelming kind of. It's amazing things. how these are, you know, this one and the everything but the bagel wrap are mostly onion. But you, you know don't what? taste I... an overwhelming onion when you eat the yeah. wrap. Um... Hey, so I'm gonna okay. pulse it. Okay, I'm right behind you. Now that I'm saying that, my eyes are starting to tear a little. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's see, what am I doing? This one's a little soupier. Yeah, I'm gonna measure my flax and- Yeah, I did mine already. I didn't measure it, I just, you know, 
I so think I'm going to try to thicken this a little bit. Oh, really? Okay, so here we go. I mean, how is that even possible? Does flax thicken as much as chia? Oh, yeah, that's but getting thicker. I think, yes, they're both thickening agents, but I... My my opinion is that chia seems to really do it, it the longer that it sits, but yeah. you know, both ground up. But I always have made, you know, in the past um, substitute eggs in recipes, I've always done the flax seed egg and it really uh, do. So. Oh yeah. The onion is really powerful now. Ooh. I mean, look at this. Here we go again. This, this was all measured and now it's just this little pinch. Do I just put the little pinch? No, it's two tablespoons. It's 25 grams, 20 grams of- When I weigh it, it's not. But but a little pinch is, is not 20 grams. It would be more than that. Well, I was doing it, yeah, with the ounces. Oh, oh. Do you know what the yeah, other, I the, the other I one the, I did? I did based on- Do the on grams. Because the ounces is just 0. 0.7. I know. Do 20 grams. See see if that's any different. Oh, yeah, it is. So the other one, I weighed it in ounces, so it might not have as much chia. Yeah, you know, maybe the... Uh, that's okay. Since the ounces are so tiny, the scale may have a hard time going that low. Yeah. I don't know why. Interesting. So that's my experiment, right? I'm doing one measured and one uh, weighed. That's <laughs> what it yeah. turned out with. And then I got to do this guy. Okay, I'm going to pour. Okay. You're pouring? Yep. Oh. Don't you have to? Did you already uh, do a couple like uh, pulses? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I did more than three because it's a it's soupier. Okay, so all right, I'm gonna do my pulses. Great. Hopefully that's good. Boy, so that I'll have a wrap to take on my ride tomorrow. <laughs> if I can get the rest of the ingredients, you know, I could certainly get the carrot raisin one. I can get that slaw made. Yeah, I did already make the slaw part. I'll have to show you later. Let me get my... If we ride from home in the morning, it's going to be a very long ride because it's like 18 miles to get to the ferry. And then the ride over in Seattle is 35, and then it'll be 18 miles back home. Wow. But on an e-bike, it'll be fun. Yes, I have learned that. You have taught me and probably so many others. It's so much fun. When we rented the e-bikes because of your influence when we were yeah. traveling, I mean, it was so great. We both fell in love immediately. We're like, this is awesome. It's a game changer, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. You know, it's, it really helps you to be able to go those long, long amounts of, of uh, time and distance. Yeah. Okay. Have you started pickleball yet? No, I it's just, the fastest growing sport in America. Well, I've been curious about it, but you know, I'm having trouble with my elbow. So, oh, right, right, of course. But do you know, it is on my radar now. Have you? I have not. Oh, really? I'm so busy cycling all the time, and then all this other stuff that you know, and you get pretty addicted to it. I have a girlfriend who wants me to do it, but I just can't. I well, just, it's a whole nother commitment. I have a girlfriend yeah. um, that I met when I was up at True North and uh -huh. she loves it and she does it like that's her job, you know, her jam. Yeah. 
And that's what happens. It becomes your jam. It's like, well, my jam is cycling right now. I'm yeah. kind of a one trick pony. I can focus on one thing at a time, especially with all the involvement in the club, being the treasurer and the ride coordinator. Oh yeah. You're, you're really into it, but. And then the know. garden and days in between. You know, you have a tremendous amount of energy. <laughs> I mean, I'm told that. I mean, I do too, but I don't know. I, I do get tired and yeah. maybe I feel like maybe it's not as much, but. It, you do have a lot of energy. You, you're going all the time with the family. And, uh, you know, when you hit a wall, I'm like, it's okay, Jen. It's okay. Slow down, man. You've been going, going, going. It just, it just feels so good to feel good. Yeah, it does. And so. I agree. This is so different. This texture is different. And the yeah. this reminds me of the texture of an applesauce. Yes. Very close. This one's easier to spread than the other one. Yeah, my, my mat is kind of poking up, but that's okay. You know, what I hope to do with this is show people how easy it is to make the actual wrap. Because Lisa doesn't tend to do the actual wrap, she fills them, which is really easy too. Yeah. And the nice thing is you can make them and then put them in the dehydrator and just leave them alone. And just leave them alone, exactly. And the way AJ talks, you know, she she found a way to kind of store them. Yeah. Afterwards. Yeah. I haven't tried it yet I've been leaving it on the mat yeah um, have you I know you put you took it off did you um refrigerate it or like yes see I didn't refrigerate mine for how many days um I think it was two days I just left it on the counter and it was like it's like um you know those fruit roll-up kind of texture and I just thought yeah. well it's dehydrated there's nothing that can go bad and well, it's dehydrated and you've got a drier climate than I do. Well, that's true. But I um, I put them in a, I've got two gallon Ziplocs now. Stephen ordered some on Amazon and they came yesterday. And so I will fold the mat, I'll fold the wrap in the mat and put the whole thing in the fridge. Oh, okay. And then take it out. And, and then Nate had an idea where he took, a bunch of wraps, like 16 days worth of wraps, and put them on the wet, the uh, tacky side on parchment paper and just yes, I layer saw them up that, that way. I, you saw I, that? I, Did you watch that when Nate and Lissa were on with AJ? Yes, and I saw him do that. So there are, you know, there's a few different variations of ways to store them. Um, I don't know if which was, way does AJ do it she took it off of the this um, silicone mat and yeah. then she folds them the sticky side to the sticky side oh. and then she puts it in one of those two gallon um, you know Ziploc bags yeah and she had more than one in I'm pretty sure she had more than one in one bag there because they won't stick to each other because they're they're stuck to itself yeah cool i'll try that yeah and how long does she keep them that way did she say i don't, I don't remember what she said but she made enough of them that it's probably a little bit because well there she said her and and charles they try to eat them every day yeah i know i i can see getting there I mean, so now that it's smooth, Jennifer, it looks like chicken gravy. Oh. Huh. You know, it's a really lighter and not, not as applesaucy. I don't know why my, my silicone mat right in this one area is kind of puffing up. Oh, no. I'm just going to try to hold it down.
you know, Alyssa says, take your time. And it's so good she says that because I just take my time. You know, I'm going along and then I scrape too deep and I pull it off the tray. It's like, oops, go back over it again. So when I have some in the back, you know, you're yeah. spreading it. And then yeah. I, I take it and I kind of just go along the corner. Yeah. I scrape it so that whatever's on the back falls back in here. Yeah. Which Me is, too. Yeah. Okay. So the whole thing's in there. The whole thing is in there. Ta -da! There we go. Ready. Wow. Okay. I'm going to put these in the dehydrator. Okay. Wait, I am going to do that. As or well. rash, Jennifer, and it wasn't that hard. No, it wasn't. And different flavors and different ingredients, but simple. I'm excited to, you know, to try the finished product. I'm going to put mine in. All right, one's in. All right, and I got one more. Okay. Now, let's see here. What do we got? We got carrot slaw, two cups grated carrot, two cups shredded green cabbage, quarter cup of raisins. Well, that's easy enough. And then the ginger oh, dipping here. sauce. I did that already. I can just show what mine looks like. Okay. Date syrup, apple cider vinegar, lime juice, tahini, grated garlic, grated ginger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. And just chop up the uh, the raisins also. Oh, okay. And I did this through the um, food processor. I did not do it by hand. Ah. It, it was so fast. Yeah, maybe I'll do that too. Shred the carrot and green onion, chop the raisins into smaller pieces, place them in a bowl with the raisins, toss together, set aside. Oh, okay, so you don't even do this other stuff. Oh, that's the dipping sauce, okay. So you just start that 10 minutes before serving. Okay. Yeah. So what, you know, what I've been doing is I had my cashews soaked for the other one because that has to go in the dehydrator for like 12 hours. Which one? The cashew um, on the caramelized oh. onion, the onion cheese spread. Yeah. It's, it's, it's base is the cashew nuts. Yeah. And once you soak them, which mine are soaked, you're supposed to add some of these other things to it, mix it up real well, and then have a mound and go right. in the dehydrator. So okay, I could do that or now, or I don't know if you're ready, or we could kind of just do that on our own. My cashews haven't been soaking for six hours. Yeah. Okay. So I, I better let them soak. Okay. But you could do that while I do the, um, the slaw. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. All right. So. So let me just grab what I need. Okay. And I will do the same. So okay. while you get your stuff, I'll go ahead and, and, oh, oh, okay. What's that? Oh, that's your cashews. These are, yeah. My soaked cashews. So you're going to have to drain those. Rinse yep. and drain. Yeah. Wow. And let's see what else. I can get, oh shoot, it's wet here. No, oh, don't let it get wet. Let's see. So I need carrots and green cabbage and raisins. Well, that's easy enough. Huh? How she figures this stuff out. I know. It's pretty impressive. I am like out of onion powder. I might have more. Um, but this calls for onion powder and mustard. So when you come back, then I'll go see if I have some. But in the meantime, I'll start this. 
And let's see. Since this you know, is caroling, I'm going to do some red, red and green cabbage. Ooh, that's a good idea. I didn't have any red, but I bought green. And that'll be really pretty. Yeah. I'll go ahead and do it by hand so that I'm not messing with the the noisy shredder. Okay, so these are drained and rinsed. And uh, let's see. I can use some okay. so This is so I'm gonna put them in the for fun. Even though there's only a few more, you know, there's only so much stuff out. I, I'm getting confused because we have so many different things going on at once, but yeah, it's all good. Okay. So I've got that in, let's see. And, oh, this is the one where we're going to use these probiotic pills. Oh, the cheese, right? So it turns it into a cheese. Yeah. So I have two of these. And bring it in the fridge. Um, let's see. I think I'll do it with this little bowl. No, oh, so there's a julienner here, a slicer, and a grater, but not a shredder. Yeah. Oh, is that your... This Here. is this this little guy guy. Ooh. That's nice. Um I have a Julianne, you know, thing like that, but it doesn't have the container underneath. Oh. And it just, you know, you just do it on a surface. Yeah. So that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, but none of these uh shred. Great. Oh, well they they slice and dice. Slice okay. and dice. Julianne and oh, there's great. Okay, so I'll use the grater. Okay, I have to grab a little bit of water, so I'll be back again. Okay. I'll try this. I haven't tried this one yet. I'm putting it in the wrong way. Okay, they got a plus. plus. Okay. All right. All right, let's see what happens here. That's the end off. I'm going to actually pour the water in here. It's a little bit of water. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Ooh, look at you go. Boy, it's little. Little, little, little tiny gravy. <laughs> That might be fun to eat that oh, way. Oh, yeah, it's for ginger garlic. Okay. Ginger and garlic. So these little guys. So that's not good. Just open. Okay, so here's for making coleslaw. Okay. So I'll try that one. Fine julian. That's this one. Hey, I'll have to remember that for my garlic. Because it makes really fine little pieces. Sorry. I'm making quite the rack with here. Put this out. All right. Now let's try this. Uh, let's see what else did it say have to put in here. I'm getting a little bit uh, Okay, so that's it. It just wants me to pour that in there. And I think I'm I'm like double and triple checking, but I think then I just mix it up. So I did that. Yeah. Just the cashews and pro probiotic? Yeah, pretty much, yes. So what I'm are you gonna, gonna get it mixed with? Um well that, that's how it's gonna go into the um into the uh, 
dehydrator and then afterwards it's going to get onion and garlic and other flavors in yeah but how did you break up the cashews oh they're 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 here i didn't get i'm about to oh okay it. okay so you're going to blend them in the I'm big blender blend them. and it's got the probiotics yeah is there any water in there uh just a tiny bit not very yeah. much so this will be interesting and there's no lemon huh Last time I did this, I did it in my smaller Vitamix. Yeah. I and wish I, I had one. Well, this is the one that I have, but in, it's not, I mean, it's a nut. It's a, it's a little easier, but. You know, the last time I watched her make the everything bagel on AJ's show, or maybe it wasn't, maybe it was just on the Instagram. Jonathan was asking about where to find her. Well, she's on Instagram several times a day making those wraps. Oh. Nobody, nobody told him about Instagram. But anyways, her cheese, her sauce that she put on the everything bagel was a lot more spreadable. Yes, I noticed that. And so, so I wonder if she put more water in it. Well, something happened because this is still very much... Um, not, not breaking it. I would rather have it more spreadable. I'm going to put more fluid in mine next time. I don't think you're really supposed to do this, but. And since it's that easy, I'll go ahead and do mine too. I'm going to show you, you know, because it is not, you know, I already. Yeah, it's pretty, you know, I mean, it just depends on, again, the first couple of times she put it on, it was, it was cheesy and really difficult to spread but i really like the look of the creamy one i do too i noticed that recently i saw something yeah. i thought okay but i just thought i didn't pay attention before you know sometimes it takes me a few times to really pay attention <laughs> yeah but no she it was hardly spreadable and she only put it on a little bit this time she, but she put you it know on the whole wrap but janet look at this see if you can i don't know if you can see yeah it. i can see it there's liquid in it still. So no. I know that adding more water, it might just mean be that I need a smaller container. Yeah, I mean, it's just such a big blender. I mean, mine too. It's just hard for it to, to get at everything until you put enough in it. Right. It's really, yeah, so this can take me a while. Like yesterday, I was making the sauce for the coleslaw out of a, a cup of soap cashews and I add you know another tablespoon of, of uh, apple cider vinegar and then I just add a little bit of water oh it just made a wonderful sauce I am going to go ahead and transfer it into the smaller one because uh -huh. I'm, not, I'm not getting as good um of luck here yeah don't blame you and I just I did it last time that way and I just kind of forgot about it because it's so much fun just being in the moment with you. <laughs> wow, this made really, really small carrots. So the thing with the carrots is when you do it yourself, they're a lot more liquidy than, you know, store-bought ones that are already pre-shredded. With yeah, the smaller like one, are you seeing that it's uh, a lot of liquid? I, I'm going to do it myself or... But is there a lot of liquid in it right now? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, that's perfect. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it depends on the carrot. Well, that, that's true. I'm going to try it with the smaller container now. See if I have a better luck. I'm going to my regular grater now. Fun trying all the different little things. I'm gonna need a bowl. No, it must be something. I go on a walk and oh, the blackberries are so perfect right now. 
I just love them. So we yeah. stop with the blackberries and have blackberries. Okay, there's one cup of carrot. You have to grab another carrot. So the instructions do not say to do what I'm doing. I'm taking the lid off. Oh. And I'm, and I'm kind of pushing, have it on the lowest speed, and I'm kind of pushing the sides down, and it's oh. helping to blend it up better. Um, oh, good idea. You know, yeah. Don't try this at home, kids. Yeah, oh. really. That would be, uh, that's, that's probably it. why they don't oh. say that. I think it's Rebel. Boy, I'm glad I bought a lot of carrots. So I was standing there. I didn't want to get so many carrots that I had leftover carrots for the, you know, and then we're leaving. Although they'll last for a week. We'll be gone 10 days. And um, I'm glad I got them because I'm making this carrot wrap and carrot claw. Yeah. And I made that coleslaw yesterday with carrots. I'm using a lot of them. So I'm not regretting it one little bit. And of course, I'll I'll take carrots for my the first day of the, the ride trip. Oh yeah, you can't, trip. Go, you can't go wrong with carrots. Yeah. Yeah. Now we'll be we're gonna sit, spend the night in Wenatchee, so we'll have to you know cook meals. We'll start the the ride from my brother's house because we ride six miles down the hill in town. I would love to hear who has figured out a smaller container attachment. I know we've spoken about this before, but. Yeah, I just haven't had time to call I, them. Yeah, I think. There's the magic bullet. Oh. What is that any good? Yeah, but I don't have one. Yeah, I don't have one either. Maybe people can let us know if they've got a magic bullet and they watch our, our, our video today they can recommend to us what might be good yeah the cabbage those are two cups of cabbage two cups shredded green cabbage okay so i'll do a cup of green and a cup of red that won't take much now we're getting somewhere. This is patient. I got another cabbage too because I figured I could make squaws for lunches until I go. And I'm still here. What's today? Wednesday. So I still got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> And of course, I bought a whole weather, a oh, whole watermelon for us to eat too. Ooh, well, that's good. I've got one over here. Look at here's here's how it has progressed, but it's still kind of still kind of chunky. Yeah, it should be a little chunky because cheese. Oh well, then maybe this is good because look yeah. at it. yeah, yeah. I think that that looks really good. Okay, if it was going to keep going, I was going to move the machine over here. Yeah. All right. So I'll go get the mat thing. So did you did you uh, do your raisins? Cut them smaller by hand, or you did use the machine? The process with the, with the raisins. I just rough chopped them a little bit and threw yeah. them in. There. That's what I'll do. All right. So let me get this. So I can make the mound on here. Um, so here's the thing. I don't have any more of those silicone um, lip things, but you don't really need that. So I'm going to use this other. Yeah, any mat will do. Yeah. And if you don't have one of these, you can use uh, parchment paper. Yeah. I, I already I had ordered these years ago. And um, so they just. They came three in a pack and I just ordered one pack. So I don't have enough for all the shelves, but it fits perfectly on. It just doesn't have the edging. So it would not work for the wrap, but for this, it'll work. Yeah, I looked up the Excalibur Phil mats. 
And I, I they, actually, I didn't get those. I got some on Amazon. Because oh. my still maps are so wasted. And they got tears in them. And, you know, now we're eating still mat microscopic pieces. And I said, oh. you know, rather than do this, I'm going to get some new ones. So that's what I did. There you go. That sounds yeah. like a good plan. Yeah. So these are different than the ones that I have. Also have some larger ones that go in like a cookie sheet. Or oh. if we're doing stuff in the oven. And those those are a different shape than these. These fit oh. the Excalibur uh -huh. dehydrator. Are they the Excalibur ones? Or they the are. It says yeah. Excalibur Paraflex yeah. Ultra Sheets. Yeah. But the other one that I have is not. Um, because it it's not for a machine, it's for a cookie sheet. Yeah. And it's Silpat from France or whatever, the original one. I bought them years ago. Yeah, that was nice that Judy and Gretchen were asking us some questions yesterday. Oh, Curious yeah. about the raw. Yeah, and it took me so long to even see what was going on because the baby's birthday. Yeah, you were a busy Happy girl. Birthday. Oh my God, and so I was just. You had a full day yesterday. Time. Yep. So funny because we have absolutely, well, we have my family. We don't have Stephen's family. But I guess that's common for a girl that girls stay in touch better than boys. Not Not across the board, but. In my experience. Um, in with my own children, that's the case too. So yeah. Well yeah, it's kind of fun to watch Steven's family because they won't see each other for you know literally years. But oh, when yeah. they get together, they're family. You know, oh yeah. Different. Pick Just like right they now. haven't left. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know I'm using my fingers, but. That's all right. We're going to be eating this, so I'm using my fingers, too. Just mixing. Yeah, fingers, them I mean, they're the greatest tools, I think. <laughs> I think so, too. And it's fun to feel the food. All right, so let me just move some of my stuff out of here and just show you. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. You can see it's kind of like. I think you can see it's kind of like a little bit of a mound. Yeah, and I'm going to put mine in away too. Okay. Put it in the container like you did. There you go. Just keep it safe. Such nipples today. Maybe it's the onion. Usually I have to take some of the drawers out because it, there's only so much room. Yeah. <laughs> And everything fit so that's so fun that's good i took i take some of my out out just for ease of taking them out and turning them and yeah I'm that's afraid true. that i'll hit you know so yeah so this is our filling yay you know what we didn't do oh so there's a french sauce and a kale massage that you're and supposed that, to do that, pretty much when it's ready and the ginger dipping sauce when it's ready. Um, where is that? That's on the carrot cumin. Oh, I'm looking at the caramelized onion one. And I'm looking at the carrot cumin because I'm doing <laughs> carrot slaw. Okay. That way we cover the both bases. Let me catch up to you. Well, but you're right. They're not supposed to be done until just before you make it. Yeah. So okay. I won't, it's just, you just whisk it together. The ginger dipping sauce, you, you yeah. wait? Oh, 10 you minutes before serving. Okay, so then then we're good. Yep. We're good until we're we're ready. So I, when you when you make the the uh carrot, you put the lettuce leaves in the center of the wrap and then you put a generous amount of the slaw and some red onion slices. So she doesn't put the onion in with the slaw. That's interesting. And then you drizzle some of the ginger dipping sauce over the slaw and sprinkle it with sesame seeds. Doesn't that sound good? And then you roll it up. You wish we were we were ready right now. Oh, I know. <laughs> so be. we're going to eat lunch next, but oh no, we got to wait for the wraps. <laughs> well, yeah, not these. 
Um, I pre-made a few things, well, ready to go that I guess I'll just put in the refrigerator. So I had some dates that I pitted and some um, garlic. And this is some minced uh, garlic also and onion. So I think these are for two different recipes, but yeah. anyway. So the French sauce is the dates, the lemon juice, the apple cider vinegar, the garlic, the tomato powder, the tomato paste, miso paste, chipotle powder, mustard powder, pepper flakes, and water. So that's this one for me. Okay, so yeah. I like so. And then the kale is three cups of kale with the stems removed, three cups shredded green cabbage. Oh, wow. And a tablespoon of the French sauce to the French sauce. Oh, okay. Okay, so you massage the kale with French sauce. So I got my kale ready to go, but I'm, yeah, wait, because I wash yeah. it, I take the stems off, I put it in a um, salad spinner, and then I have an older towel that's clean and I just let it dry on there. Okay. I'm going to go out and get kale out of my garden. Oh, we are out. I loved when I had it, but this is store-bought. Uh -huh. So yeah, so we're all good. Yeah, the kale start five minutes before serving. Okay, got it. Shred the green cabbage, add it to, to the kale in a bowl. Take two spoon, teaspoons of the French sauce. So the French sauce can be ready. Okay. We can make the French sauce. You want to make the French sauce? What do we need? Yeah, it says, it says it's, you just pour it into the, the and massage the kale. So. Which, which wrap is that? I'm getting confused. I'm, I'm on yours. I'm on the caramelized onion wrap. Okay. So that's the last thing I guess we could do ahead of time. Yeah. And I'll I'll do the cheese after lunch because I gotta wait a little bit longer because when I I tried to do my my um cashews too soon last night, I think. Mm. And they just not last night, but last time. So I have always done fresh lemon and lime. Oh, me um, too. But I I I'm doing this little um, bottle store bought um, mostly because I was having trouble with you know my my wrists and my just to simplify things yeah and I can't really tell the difference and it says that it's just organic lemon juice it's never as good as freshly squeezed right out of the lemon but it's okay that's what I'm gonna do today mm -hmm. so let me see do we put this all in the Vitamix where where is the French sauce? I just was looking at it. Oh, here um, we go. Here we well, go. I see the ingredients, but I don't, I'm trying to find it on the other page where it tells you directions. Yeah. So this was what I just did, the cashew thing. And then it goes onto the wraps, which we already did. It. Oh, here it is. It's on the third page. Okay. Basically, high blender, uh, blend everything. And okay. And add water if you need it. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse out my my blender stuff. I might try to do the small one again because that one seemed to work better. Oh, I see. It says to start at 15 minutes before serving. Yeah, you can wait if you want. I think I'll just go ahead and do it. I don't mind if it's sitting in there. I can just restir it when I'm ready. Okay. Totally your call. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab it. Go ahead and do your thing and I'll go ahead and get the ingredients. Yeah, when we make two of them and there's all these pieces to it, sometimes we got to double check, triple check. Pretty my Sorry, I had to put the disposal on and I'm rinsing out the last, the last guy here. 
How long have we been going? Do you remember what's that? Yeah. Poor Stephen, I said, are you hungry? Because we ate breakfast kind of late this morning. So I said, do you mind if I go ahead and go on and do the Zoom? And he said, no, no, go ahead. He's out um, staining the deck, the railings. How is the deck coming along? Oh, it's beautiful. See, Edgar's still working on Carol's stairs. And then he'll widen the deck a little. But he got her whole upper stairs done yesterday. Wow. A huge project. And he did it. He's just amazing. You got to so take the old out to where there was no, no way to get up her stairs. And then he had to redo the, the stairs, you know, the part that, that you put the stairs on. Yes. And then um, put all the steps back so she could go up and feed her kitties and, you know, go go to bed that night, <laughs> have her dinner, and, you know, go home. She could go home. So she's uh, clearly on the second floor. All right. So I got these done. Okay. So I am just going to start putting my dates in here. Um, yeah, me too. My lemon juice. So cool. I can just pull that right off the wall. My lemon juice. No. So excited. Looks so fun. I'll tell you. And he enjoys doing it. It's really nice. So do they just surprise you and say, what about this idea? Or do you say, can you put this on? This is what I'd like. Yeah, we, we kind of together, we look at it, we, you know, I say, well, this is what, this is what I, I'd like to, you know, have some way of, I mean, he actually suggested it, would you like something? And I said, yeah, it'd be really great if I could have, you know, and then fill in the blank. And then he goes out and pretty soon he comes back with these beautiful ideas. He's such an artist. Hello. Yes, come get your coleslaw. <laughs> Here. Oh, you can go. Oh, okay. He's right up here. <laughs> okay. Don't believe Oh, Janet. Yeah. One of the things that it wants, I don't have, yeah. but I have an idea. So what are your thoughts? It calls for tomato powder. Right. What about pepperoni spice? Yeah. Or do you think that's too Yeah, I've got that. Yeah, let's try that. Because I don't have any tomato powder either. Tomato powder. Yeah. What I mean with uh, plant you? Yeah. Curly, she yes. makes tomato powder out of tomato skins. Oh, gosh. She skins the so tomato, good. dries them, and then and then blends them. Do you know, I saw her do something with lemon. Yeah. Uh, lemon rind and dehydrating it. Yeah. And I tried it without really knowing what I was doing just by watching her. Yeah. And I have it. I could show it to you. Oh, cool. Um, but it was very time consuming. Here, oh. I'll you know, because, well, I don't know what I'm doing really, but let's see if I can find it really quickly. Here it is. Well, what's left of it? There's not much left, but. Oh, hold on. So you used it? Yeah, some of it. Bring your hand up there. Oh, yeah. Cool. And then the rind. That was the rind. So I've got lemon, lemon rind powder. So what did you use it in? Um, something that called for zest. I oh. want to I want to say a dressing, and I don't recall which one, but um that's a good idea. Instead of yeah, instead of zesting it. But I think anything that you want to enhance the flavor of lemon will work. Yeah. I think, in fact, let's see what's in this pepperoni spice. Yeah, I don't know if that's, 
that's overkill on the flavor, but that's all I could think of. Yeah. Chipotle powder is next. I think it's worth a try. Yeah? That's yep. the only thing I could come up with. And you know, the Chipotle powder, it is so strong. I don't ever use a quarter teaspoon. You? I know. I just literally poured it in here and kind of thought, ah, that was too much. So I think I might scrape a little out because you're right. It just gets too powerful. It's she so powerful. I always just use a, a, a scotch. Yeah. I mean, not even an eighth of a teaspoon. I just take the eight, eighth of a teaspoon and I put a little tiny bit in it and stick it in. I lost track of my... Yeah. Right, too many things. You know, like I do that. Oh, yeah. That much. Yeah. That's well, I just overdid it, but I'm kind of trying to fix it because it is yeah. a lot. Okay. I got it. So that should be good. Okay. And mustard powder. Yes. Did I just do the mustard powder? Oh my gosh, I did. I did the mustard powder already. I did this, didn't I? Oh my gosh, I'm doubting myself now. That's and then she's she's gonna do pepper flakes on top of the chipotle. I don't think so. <laughs> and I like hot, but that's too hot. I think I already put this in here. God, now I'm getting confused. Yeah. Um I, I do like a little spice, but I don't, I don't like so much. Yeah. Chipotle, <laughs> Excuse me. Chipotle is so, you know, do you know what chipotle, chipotle is? Well, isn't it a bunch of different peppers? No, it's just roasted jalapeno. Oh, jalapeno. Yeah. And I wonder how, how hot they get it to roast it if it's raw. Wow. Yeah. Never thought of that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, these little spices, who knows? How I know. Doing. I'm just going to get some water. Okay. Just add a little at a time. How much water does it say? Um, well, it says a half a cup, but... Yeah. I was just putting in a small amount at a time, so I did a quarter cup to start. Okay. Does she say a quarter to a half? I'm going to need to put the half in for my blender. It just doesn't blend. Okay, here I go. So you do you blend it to smooth? Oh, it should be thick. Oh, darn it. Well, let's see. I did not end up using all the water that it called for. Woo, it's kind of smoky. Smoky, baby. And I always try to get it out of the lid because I find that I always have half the recipe in the lid. Is that true for anybody? Hmm. Well, let me see if I can show you. So it is, uh, actually, let me see what you got. Yeah, it's a really nice consistency. I'm just pushing down the side, but here you go. I was just showing. And that's with a quarter cup? Um, I ended up adding a little bit more. So what I have left is probably a little more than an eighth still. Okay. Wow, that pepperoni spice still sure smells good, doesn't it? See, I didn't end up putting it in there. I already forgot. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it really smells good. So maybe that was a good idea. Mm, very good I did idea. Not, I did not put the red pepper flake in because I overdid it on the Chipotle. Oh, good, good plan. I'm going to put 
I'm gonna do, did you do the full measurement for the I tomato? did. Oh, you did. How okay. can I go wrong? No, not with the chipotle, with the pepperoni spice. Okay, even without it, it's pretty good, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. So curious. So here's mine, Jen. Ooh, that looks Mine's good. a little bit runnier because I put the whole half cup in so that I could blend right. it. Square blender. All right, so here's what it looks like. That's, that's uh huh. Uh huh. So I'll just mix it up, and I think this is good. I like the consistency of this. Yeah. Now, if it ends up being too spicy, I might throw in an extra date or some date syrup or something because- Oh, good idea. Just to counterbalance it, even though, oh man, yesterday, I I usually, I never really, uh, very rarely that I would eat a date. Yeah. Just to eat a date. Yeah. Yesterday, I saw, I had some dates and they they looked so good and I had one and I thought, wow, that is really good. Okay, and then I walked away, and you know what? I found myself going back for another, and then I finally had to say, "That's it." She cooks you know, a lot with dates as it is. You know what I what I found yesterday was fresh figs at Costco. Oh, oh my gosh! I've eaten a bunch of them. I've eaten half the container. <laughs> I love fresh figs. Oh. We have them sometimes in the summer at the farmer's market, and I just get them every time. They are so good. All right, I'm going to give this a taste. Ooh. Wow. Oh, gosh. It's, mine's a little spicy still, but the mm. pepperoni is nice on it. I think I'm going to pour some of this date syrup in. Should I do dates? I'm just going to do some date mm. syrup. Mine's spicy too, but it's really good. Plenty spicy, just a, a touch. Yeah. And I usually do that. I just, I don't know. I went on my own. All right. So I'm going to do my last little hoorah. Here. I'm, I'm going to get something. Poor, poor Stevie. He, he needs to eat. So that, that's a wrap. So um, that's that'll be a wrap. And then. And then, well, all we have left is the, I got to do the cheese spread and we got to do the massage the kale. Yeah. Pretty cool. Massage the kale. Yeah. And um, the French sauce is here. So we're all yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks everyone. Take care, everyone.